Hello, welcome back. We are back on Ranger Rivershine and we are still on my young save in autumn, picking up where we left off last time. Get all these little forageable thingies. And we'll pick up all this forage. If nothing else, we can sell it. <laughs> so it looks like we've got a couple of kids on the ground. Okay, so we have Bubbly Squirrel, a coal back to be on him. Super cute. Crappy stats, but you know, we get what we get. And we've got Dark Flame, who is a wild. Her tameness is up, but she's still a wild with midland results, and they want us to do the advanced race. And I'm like, eh, I think this is our stallion. No, this is a mare. A beautiful flaxen apricot done of Vera mare. And I don't need to stop giving everybody treats. And we've got this little bebe over here, whose mama is a dapple. Chestnut Tobiano, salty orange. With the little heart on his side, he's so cute. Um, reliable, never wanders off. Well, okay. Give her mama. So this is a silver dapple red bay who I love. I absolutely love this mare's coloring. She is stunning. I do need to get her stuff up, like her endurance and her... Yeah, her endurance and her flex suck. Um, so we've got two foals on the ground. Oops, you need a brush, don't you? Yes, you do. This is our stallion tornado. Oh, and then she goes running across the field. You're not taking me anywhere to make me work. I got a kid. Yeah, I know I said kid. You need your stats up too, buddy. Um, I need to get these pastures done as well. So we've got two foals. And you are Cinnamon, our first. Our first pretty girl. Who has the worst stats? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mama. You poor baby. And you are a yearling. Gold beetle. So, young adult. So, we're keeping her flax and dark chestnut done. Tovero. Very lovely. And I do need to get her stats up because, man, they're not even intermediate. So, we'll make a point of training her today since she still has 100%. So they won't lose potential if the horses are young adults or babies. They will not lose potential if they're kept out in the pastures overnight. It is only if they're adults. Okay, so we've got those two. So we have two kids. I'm going to see if I can get this girl. If we can do a breeding for her. There's no way I'm placing first in the advanced race. Not with these horses. Aw, I know you guys have a, you guys are so good, but no, we're not, we're not doing a breeding of you two. These two, however, he's a liver chestnut. She is a flaxen apricot done. I don't, I don't know. Um, we'll try this and see, I mean, their stat, the stats, they're kind of hopeless, but we'll we'll try that and see what we get. Okay, so we are back, and let's see. We were training this girl. Got her jump to 22. Flex is 18. So what happened is, is I wasn't able to finish training her, and I quit the day. So we've got to go back and do her flex again and her jump and speed if we can. Oh, but she has that much attainment. Okay, we should be able to do it. Sorry about that, we had 
technical difficulties and I think I lost what progress I had made. Okay, so whoops, now we're going to go to Mountain Flex. Let's do this first. Let's go through here. Statue thing. This is going to take a minute because Flexibility really takes a chunk out of it, man. Dang. Okay, so Flex is at 26. Give her a pair. And then we will go to Speed. Oops, this way. Oh, and we get another point in Flex. Okay, that works. Oh, we got some Timothy over here. Definitely need that. So we're going to go to speed. See if we can take advantage of this circle down here. Okay, we got $590. That works. Good girl. She didn't even raise a fuss and she's only not even half tame. Just going to really work on getting her stat statistics up. And tomorrow, maybe doing some racing with her, try and get her trust up. Well, first, I have to get her. <laughs> I have to get her um, trust, her tameness up. What do I got here? So, speed is at 25. I can't give her another treat, but I can try and do this one. Okay, so we're just. Oh, there we got. So we got 26 speed, 28 endurance, 27 flex. So we just need to work on the jump. And we'll have to do that tomorrow. Um, ranch stable. Now she's, now she's resisting. Now she's kicking out. She's like, nope. Okay. She gave in. Um, give you a good brush, uh, such a pretty coat color. Okay, there you go, girl. So your tameness is just under half. So it's only eight in the morning. We could use some money. What are your stats? So I'm going to go train her on flex. Our tameness is 100%. Actually, so just make this like a training day. Oh no! Oh, that's a that's a bummer. Well, biscuit. I only have the first. I couldn't afford the second upgrade for this. So I've got two. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. But she did get a little bit of training to 20%, which is her weakest. All right, let's go into town and see if, I'm sure it's like 30 or 40,000, but we can try. We can definitely try. Yep. Yeah. 
set town statue. Yeah, I have this little this little wrist thing. And sometimes when I go to raise my arm my arm up, it gets stuck. <laughs> so if you hear me exclaim sometimes like, oh, it that's because really? Seriously, what? Sorry, Kit Kat. They're over here complaining in a little growly voice. Um, oh, no, no, no. It's River I need to talk to, not Jai. Can't walk over the benches. But we can get some more circles. Energy, yay! Alright, make sure it's not too expensive, River. And potential, then we can always use that. Oop. See, they move. I would love to see, you know, them like reversed like this. Look at that Pentalusa. Just a kitty's meow. Look at that. It's like a bay Pentalusa. So pretty. And then we've got this buckskin. It's absolutely lovely. All right, River, I'm calling you. Okay, so the flexibility... Oh, it's 17, but that's going to take all our money. So the jump and the flex, I haven't bought the first upgrades for. The jump is 16, and this the flex is 17. The speed area for the second upgrade is 52.7, and the endurance for the second upgrade is 55.5. I'm like, oof. That's a little pricey. I want to see if I can talk to Liam about getting those other two pastures. We really don't need them per se. So if we could turn one of them into a fertility pasture. Um, let me go up here. Come on. Get up there, girl. Let's go back here and get that other circle. Energy. I'm easy to please. Just give me, just give me energy and money for my horses. Uh, so forest, uh, Liam's home. I want him to be in town, and I didn't even realize it. Um, another Pintalusa. Hey. <sighs> my cat. Get down. Stop being, a, stop being silly. Just wants all the pets. So first pasture upgrade is 8,000. Sorry, I've got a bug in here too. 8,000. Um, now she's licking herself. Second pat. Whoa, we went from 8,000 to 32. That's like times four, isn't it? Dang. The heck, man! Luxury stable, 250k. Retirement is 22. To keep four of your favorite horses. Okay, well, thanks, Liam. Uh, we really got to bring your prices down, hun. Um, what is her? So she's got 38, 37, 36. They're almost the same. We really need the endurance, but well, we can go over here. Should be a circle around here somewhere. Do some pine straw. There's one right there, right where all the bunnies are. Okay, so potential. It wouldn't hurt to have more endurance. So there's another one right over here by the endurance center. <laughs> I 
just loves to cause trouble. Huh? Good girl. Lie down. That's a good kitty. Yeah. Being good, Bootsy. She's not a bad girl. She's just a mischievous girl. Okay, so what is your endurance now? It's 42. So then if I go to jump... Try and get all as much training in as possible. And actually there's another one over here. Statue fin. Okay, so we got some statue fame. <laughs> Cat is still grumbling. So I think on the jump I only have one round on this, but I could be wrong. We'll do speed and jump at the same time. Okay, she can't be trained any further. So speed is 38 still, endurance is 42, jump is 40. So the flex is the one that we've really got to, really, really got to work on. Um, I'm just going to go take her home. I mean, I could sit here and try it in circle, try it in circles for, well, if she had stamina, I could. <laughs> I could try it in circles and do her, do her flex, but she doesn't have any stamina left. I don't want to waste a treat because I don't think we have very many. I keep thinking I'm on my other save. We're not. Okay. Such a cute babies. So we've got one. We've got two foals on the ground. Ah, so I opened this one. So I can open these gates, keep them open. You guys can explore the new paddock, have fun. Okay, so... So who do I have? I have Mangrove and I have Tornado. Yeah, so I just have the two. Okay, so let's find, let's use Tornado. And let's try Natural Maple. Pair them up. Let's Cinnamon. So we almost have Lupine Meadow where I could get... Oh, oh, yeah, that's not happening. For a second I was just like, whoa, we could do that. Nope, nope. But we could do... Like the beginner. What is she on? She is... Maybe intermediate. Oh, I don't have them. Hmm. Gotta go into town. Let's do um, the statue. We'll do Lupine Meadow Beginner. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was me hitting the mic. So then maybe we can get the 5% uh, of Lupine Speed and put it on this girl. Try and raise her up since she was my starter horse. 
I'd really like to get her all the way up to 100%, but it's it's that part is a real grind. If you run enough races, and you go through these circles, you can definitely take some shortcuts. It always helps too when you're doing these races to kind of keep an eye out and you can see where there's fields of flowers or if you see a chest. Because that was always happening to me when I was in Crystal Lake. I would be going through this one section it was always like, there's a chest there. If I could only remember where exactly I am on the map, I could get it. Go, 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 go. Good job, Cinnamon. Okay, and she has that skill where she doesn't really lose very much energy, as you see. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Still not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we're going to do the beginner. I can't see. Where am I going? Sorry, I'm concentrating just a little bit. Don't want to wear all her stamina out until the very end. There we go. Now we can let it run out. Just got that one last jump. Cool. So that's $2,300. Okay, I think we'll leave it at that. Let's see, let's check. Oops. Okay, so Lupine Meadow is at 100%, so we could give her that speed bonus. Her speed is currently at 53. All her other stats are, are terrible, but because I canter her everywhere, her speed is pretty good. Alright, so Meadow Horse Statue. So we'll give it to her because I am trying to raise her up. So she gets 5% speed. I've just got to remember that on this one, this save, that I want all the, the stats to go to her, at least for the time being. Put in the pasture. We have any trees, but I'll check. No. Do I have any crops? No. No crops either. Well, that's a bummer. Um, 
Okay, I haven't been using my hay because I've, everybody's out in the paddock, so that's good. Oops, she's pregnant. Ooh, raggy horses. Yeah, so let's we'll see if we can catch a nice dapple. That would be really cool. Is that copy of daddy? Okay, so remove the horses. And I don't think I can get anybody else. I could I could get cinnamon pregnant. Let's see. I wonder what cinnamon cinnamon and tornado would look like. A baby, not <laughs> so dark chestnut, red bay. So I've got one pregnant. Let's take you. Can you use some on the job training? We're going to Rocky Mountain. Trail entrance. Okay, so let's see where they are. That's us. Okay, so they're right here at this crossroads. So we can travel to the Flex Arena. And then just go from there. Let's go through this circle first. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> My husband trying to get the dogs in. <laughs> Sometimes they're stubborn coming in, wanting to come in. So they should be just up ahead. I see one. We're looking for a nice dapple. Mare or stallion? I prefer mare because I already have two stallions. What do I need a third? But you never know. Well, we've got like a monster blue one over there. Blue, blue roan. We've got two, two small ones right here. Three small ones. Another overo over there. There's like there's two overos. Is that another red bay or a dun? Well, we're gonna have to round them all up. Let's we'll start with this guy. Come on. So we'll just round them all up and then we'll take a look at each one of them. And we'll make our decision. And hopefully it's not like 3 o'clock in the afternoon by then. And I'm going to take advantage of the circle. <laughs> Can I always use money? Oh, we are going the wrong way. Oh no, I'm stuck. Made a wrong turn. It was a straight shot, and I just took a left, thinking I was somewhere else. Because there's the brown, there's the, the round pen right in front of us, and I just went, "Oh, we're going left." It's clever, clever girl. Sometimes. Okay, you get in there. Good job. So this should be a short run, because it's bring them through this gap here, and it should be all good. I think there's six of them. And this chestnut's already on his way. 
Looks like he's a Overo. Now, there are no Palominas in this area, but you can see ooh, that is probably a Red Bay Dapple, but I'm not going to swear to it. But this one over here looks really interesting. Is this a Dun? This is a type of Dun. Yes, I'm still behind you. Okay. Let's see. These two are either silvers or flaxens. I want to see what this one is. This one might be a red, silver, red bay. Oh, if only I could round all of you up at the same time. That would be lovely, but nope. Not how it's going. Let's use another done, too. Nope, don't go into the mountain. <laughs> okay, so we've got three of them. There we go. So one, two, we might just have three more, four more, excuse me. Got one of them hiding back here. That's a lovely chestnut. I'm looking at this guy. Keep hoping that some of these will come over like on their own, but it takes them so long. So it's faster if we just round them up. And now it should be three more. <laughs> you really see the height difference that that blue roan or whatever he is is huge. It's got to be 16, 1, 16, 2. And we're not too worried about her losing stamina because she's just cantering. So even if she loses all of her stamina, it's fine. She'll probably get speed points. See, so he's another Overo. So I'm just going to try and get ahead of him. There we go. Save ourselves some running time. And then there were two. So there's one there. Aha, and there's one here. Please tell me you're not stuck in the trees, that you're just hiding from the flies. You know, you're just catching some shade. Nope, you're stuck. So sometimes when they're stuck, if you can get in front of them and chase them out, then they'll back out. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes they're just well and truly stuck. So, oh, and he can go through the he can clip through the mountain. Lovely. He is a magic horse.
So we only have one left. Okay, let's catch this chestnut and then see if we got any dapples. Let's hope we do. And hope it's a mare. Flame. Silver buttermilk dime. So I was right, she was a silver. Intermediate. This one is a dapple. Dapple apricot done. Ooh. With green eyes. Why are they always stallions? Hmm. Always stallions when I need mares. And all these mares. Ooh, a silver dapple buttermilk done, Overo. Oh, aren't you special? Please be a mare. All intermediate. Thank you. Chestnut done. <laughs> Tall spirit, that's appropriate. Blue done. Sixteen hands, yeah. That's it. Okay, Stormy Spirit, Flax and Sandy Chestnut, quite pretty, three intermediates, and a stallion, but, and has green eyes. So we haven't looked at this chestnut yet, Dark Chestnut, Ugh, all beginner stats. Sorry, sweetheart. So I think the silver dapple buttermilk done Vero would probably be a good thing. She's got all immediate stats. So yeah, we're gonna take her home. So that was good. She's got the silver gene and the dapple gene. Okay, so we've got a flaxen dark chestnut toe vero here, and then we've got our new girl. So put the wood shavings, give her a brush, -a. give her some food. So not terrible stats, really not terrible stats, um, 36, 32, 33, 39, good on the flex, silver dapple, so I think we're breeding cinnamon tonight, oops, let me put her out in the pasture, oh no, I'll leave her in. Yeah, I think we're bringing cinnamon tonight, so I will. Oop, gonna get the apple and the flower. 
see what happens. We might just breed her tomorrow and see if we can get breeder to turn it to tornado and see what we get as a full. Cinnamon's pregnant, yay! So let's go let Cinnamon out. Actually, let me go clean. She's getting so big. Clean this girl's stall and feed her first. That way all her needs are taken care of. One poo poo, okay. We will leave her name as Bright Cloud for right now. Okay, so let's go get Cinnamon. So I keep hoping because she is a dapple. She's a silver dapple red bay. But no dapple baby yet. Okay, so bright cloud. He's a liver chestnut. Wait, why is her mane? I did not do her mane. Why is her mane multicolored? What is going on? So Dark Chestnut Tobiano, so Tobiano and Overo, breed a Tovero. I'm hoping the baby will have the Dapple. Okay, that was bizarre. This is Mangrove Jack, yeah. Such a pretty boy. No more treats. This girl. This girl's the bomb. Okay, let's see if we can work on her flex and her endurance. So Flex is now 43, which is good. I've got some pumpkin. <laughs> so let's try Endurance. Really just that one? Okay. <laughs> Nothing like a glitch. Hey, Bootsy. What?
Okay, so endurance is 43, flex is 43, jumps 51, and speed is 51. So it's pretty good. Just getting up there, so almost at advanced. That's natural maple. Okay, but I need to. I oh, already did the flex. Darn it. Where's that kid of hers? Okay, let's do jump. Jump in endurance. First, we'll go get that circle again. Another six hundred. My cat's halfway across the room on a chair, standing there mewing at me. Pat me! Pat me! I'm so abused! Okay, so now her jump is at 28. Okay, so flex and jump are both at 28. Don't you dare. I'm gonna jump up on my work desk. Don't you dare. Don't be naughty. Let's go see if I can put her in a race. Yeah, she's over half her health. So, she should be able to do intermediate, but with this, not sure. Maybe we should start with the beginner. Like the town one. Yeah, she hasn't done it. We'll start with the beginner races. That way, if she's kicking out, it doesn't matter. out, like I said. Okay, 
come on. You can do it. Come on. Girl. Stubborn horse. I still came in first. <laughs> Even though she was refusing to gallop at a couple of points. See if we can get some more circles. Great dapple. And then get these over here, and I think we'll stop at George's. I know George is right there, but I'm still... <laughs> okay, so so... Okay. Where's the third sheep? There used to be three sheep. Now there's only two. Did we lose the third one? Hmm. Oh, Eloise, did we lose a, th a sheep? Did he just not spawn in? You did pretty good, girlfriend. Oops, she's at 70% now. Okay, so we've got them breeding. Cinnamon's gonna take six days or seven days, rather. Oops, come here, buddy. Really? Okay, not what I was trying to do. Yep, seven days. Girl. And then maple. So we already have two on the ground. So she's going to give birth in six, and Cinnamon's going to give birth in seven. And so we've got those two. How long before they grow up? Shouldn't be that long. Two days. Okay. Where's the other one? Nope, where'd they go? Oh, 
ran right past him. Wait, did I run right past him? No, I was looking for this one. Okay, so he's gonna be an adult in four days and then two days. Okay. So, let's go to bed early. Okay, Bright Cloud is pregnant. So what I'll do is I'll put her out and then I'm gonna sleep for six days, maybe seven days, and everybody will be out in the pasture. And then we'll see. That is just the most prettiest thing. That sunrise that Eloise puts up. The sun's massive, but it looks really cool. Sunset's really pretty too, and if you've never stayed up past 10 o'clock, the sky is gorgeous. The sky is absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally sleep for seven days and then see what we've got. As far as, as babies and grown-ups, I'll probably sell, I don't know if I'm going to sell the black and white full, but the the red one, the red Tibiano, I'm going to sell. It's like a carbon copy of dad and we don't, sadly we don't want that. So he'll go to a new home. Okay, so this is number one. Oh, baby squirrel already grew to an adult. This is number two. Number three. Yes, I have to count it out. Four. Look at the five. And the music's gonna start duplicating, so I apologize in advance. This is six. This should be seven. Cinnamon had a full, Bright Cloud had a full. Okay, everybody had fulls. And everybody's gonna be filthy, even out in the pasture. And then we've had our other two horses grow up. Yep, everybody's kinda dirty. But I wanna see what all the babies are. Um, ooh, what did you have? Look at this little beauty, a dapple liver chestnut soviat. Tavero, are you kidding me? What? How cute is that? Oh my god. Maple, you dream girl. Or no, that's um Bright Cloud. That's our new mare. So this this is the the one we just caught, and this is her baby. And she had Tornado as a father. Look how cute this little filly is. Liver Chestnut Dapple Tovero. Mama, you did good. Good job, Mama. Yeah, good job. Bootsy? Hush. So that's one of those are grown up baby. Oh, Cinnamon, what did you have? She had a liver chestnut Tobiano. Now, I bred them to Tornado, who's like a red bay. And, and so I've had two liver chestnuts now. And I'm like, no, you guys didn't have Mangrove Jack as a dad. You had, you had somebody else. But that is super cute. Fluffy Cherry, another filly. Terrible stats, of course, but that's okay. So this is our grown-up yearling. Okay, so we don't have a stall open, so when that happens, you can just leave them out in the pasture. It's fine. Oh, and then who did you have? Ooh, what are you? A flaxen apricot den of Vera Wispy Squirrel. Aww. She's a little bit taller. She's 9.1 hands. 
Okay. All right. Um, yeah, so that was all of our brooding today. So this is the dad. He's a dark chest, excuse me, he's a dark chestnut at uh, Tobiano. So liver chestnut is possible out of it because it's a chestnut base. So any of the chestnut coats are actually possible. Um, no matter if I had bred mangrove jack or tornado, it could have popped a liver chestnut or a dark chestnut or any kind of chestnut. So that's awesome. So let me see here. That's the mama. This is our other yearling. This is the one I'm going to sell. So this is Salty Orange, which we don't have a stall open. So Salty Orange, I can't change his name. That one is so cute. This this little one, mm. chef's, chef's kiss. Yes, I know. Oh wait. Is that the right one? That's the flaxen. That's the other one. That's the wrong horse I took a picture of. <laughs> this is the one I wanted to take a picture of. Oh my gosh. The noises. gold beetle so she's a mare now so I can actually breed her my dog my, my mom got up to go to the bathroom and my dog got in her spot and now she's rolling over on her back going no it's warm here don't make me go so salty orange I'm gonna go sell salty orange right now Okay, so salty orange. So healthy colt. So we're getting 58, um, 5,800 as a base. And he's just a testnut Tobiana. Super cute. Oh, he already hit six. That's cool. Sixty five hundred. Not bad. Not bad for just average stats. So the other one. Uh, where's the other baby? Uh, Bubbly Squirrel. So this is our other, this is the black and white one. We're going to go ahead and sell him because I, I, he's beautiful, but I don't need another stallion. And I think all the ones that were born now are girls. He's lovely. He's got out that coal black. 6,800, so that's not bad. So we got some money. Okay. So that is where we're going to leave it today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Also, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see me do in Rancho Rivershine, please put them in the comments. Bye now.